Hello friends, this is DMC um, and this is my quick review of Taylor's of Harrogate Impression Ground Coffee and if we take a look on the front of the pack, well this pack it looks like a new designed pack because when I bought this in Asda they had two rows of this coffee and they had the old design and this one which I think is the new design and it says limited edition at the top of the pack so I don't know if it means the pack is the pack design is limited edition or the coffee because they have actually been selling this for quite a while, this impression coffee. It's one of the few Taylor's um, coffees that I haven't reviewed um, so far. But I don't think the coffee itself is limited edition. I think it's just the design of this pack. So let's have a look. It says limited edition, as I said at the top there. Impression, roast free. It says composed and fruity. I think this was £3 for 227 grams. I don't think I would pay any more than that for Taylor's because they do they do have them on offer on for £3 usually, so I wouldn't pay more than £3 normally. If we take a look on the back, it says impression, layer upon layer upon layer. It's how coffee blending works. We've laid bright Colombian on fruity Nicaraguan on sweet Ethiopian to craft a beautifully berry-toned citrusy blend inspired by those flavours. We asked illustrator Charles Shearer to design our pack artwork using printmaking to create a composition from layered impressions of ink. So yeah, I think it is the pack that's um, limited edition. Um, so... Um, Maybe if I save this up, it'll be worth maybe, say, 5p in 30 years' time or something. So, well worth keeping hold of the pack for that. Um, so, on the back, it's got methods for brewing. It's got storage instructions. It says ingredients. It's 100% Arabica coffee, this. And there's Tales of Harrogate contact information. And the best before date is September 2019, so well over a well over a year on the best before date on this one. Um, I knew this was the newer packs because the the other packs with the other design had a shorter um, best before date on them, so I made sure I picked up the one with the longer date. It says on the side, everything we do at Taylor's is devoted to filling your taste buds. We individually roast each blend to its perfect point on a scale of three to seven. From light and gentle to dark and intense. And this is um, the lightest of that scale, which is a number three. And on the other side, it's just saying that it's a Rainforest Alliance certified coffee. And they're, they're at the bottom by Royal Appointment. And that is it for the pack. If we take a look at the coffee, it's that typical sort of consistent tailors grind quite orangey i would say um but yeah it's it's that typical tailors quite coarse consistent grind and um, the the aroma well it's quite pungent it really catches your throat when you have that smell of it and um, it's fruity sweet it has a feel like a sort of stew um, cooking um, this the aroma of this coffee. Um, this is what a blended coffee should smell like with a standout distinctive smell that I really like with a sort of complexity there. But the overriding thought with this coffee is it's bursting with real, real fruitiness, this coffee. Really fruity aroma to it. So, taste-wise, it's very fruity too, with the berry fruits mentioned on the pack noticeable and a sort of orange hint in there too. It has no bitterness but has a sort of ashy acidity that is quite harsh um, with this drink. Um, it is quite sweet with hints of toffee too, um, with a biscuity hint that tastes a little sort of smoky. Um, with this one it is quite complex and you can tell that the different coffees in this in this blend are adding to that complexity 
And if it was a smooth coffee, I would really like it, but it's that sort of acidic harshness that lets it down for me. I do recognise the taste of this coffee, so maybe it's other coffees, tailors of Harrogate Cell, that has gone in, gone into this blend. The, the um, Ethiopian Rare Blossom springs to mind as one, but I'm not 100% sure. It's been a while since I reviewed that one. So this gets a 3.25 out of 5. If you like fruity coffees, this will be a coffee you might enjoy. Um, but really, it's that sort of ashy sort of acidity that really let it down for me. So I'd like to hear from anyone who's tried this coffee. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more coffee reviews in the future, subscribe to my channel. That was my quick review. Thanks for listening. Bye for now.